Hey, I'm Mike Oz from Yahoo Sports. This is Gary V. We are going to open some old baseball cards. I mean, the best leadoff hitter of all time. My God, you have a Randy Johnson. Sean Green. Sean Green. Owned me. Oh, man. Deion ah. Sanders. Look at this jacket. I want this jacket. I'm giving you a lot. I'm giving you my brother. All right, Gary, we're going to get to the baseball cards in a minute. I'm going to put them back in my pocket. But I've heard you talk about this before. You say baseball cards taught you everything you need to know about business, right? <laughs> yes, it's true. You know, I, uh, I'm 42, so I grew up in those prime years. Uh, and when I graduated from lemonade stands in 85, 86, 87, the natural move was to baseball cards. I had collected them a little bit. I was a huge baseball fan. And then 87 Tops came out and it became a complete cultural explosion. Uh, and baseball card clubs popped up in my grammar school, then junior high. And then I went to a baseball card show in Edison, New Jersey, and it literally changed the course of my life. Right. Yes. So I, I'm gonna give you some options. Okay. I got 86 Donruss, yes. which is the first cards I ever collected. 87 Tops, which yes. you've already said you have an affinity for. 1988 Fleer. Epic set. 1990 Upper Deck. I get to pick what? Pick one. Pick which one you want. 86 to Donruss. The most valuable Donruss. cards are in here. I'm gonna go 87 Tops then. Okay. Because you know we always gotta do 87 Tops if they're around. So open it up. Let's yep. see what, what memories this uh, this brings for you. See what we got in there. So eighty six. You know, you were much smarter than me. Eighty six tops is a really good set. You know, eighty five and eighty four are obviously a little bit more interesting. But uh, I I definitely was. God, I'm that set is. This is just the most fun. These puzzle pieces. All right, Daryl Boston. Biggest thing I think about Daryl Boston was his glasses. Freaked me out. He had like huge like Coca Cola glasses. He yeah, even has them in the photo. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, Jim Beatty, I remember, but not a lot. The old Mariner symbol, so, so good. gangster. So good. Like, by the way, tweet me, Gary V E E, if you have an old Mariner symbol tattoo, I'm gonna fly you into New York just to high five you. <laughs> Craig Lobster's, I remember good him. Reference. Yep. He is, I don't remember Dude, him. He, at does, him. he does not look like he's professional this baseball guy, This guy literally, like I don't know how old. good your camera is. This guy literally looks like the grandfather of Willie Mays. <laughs> like, like, he looks like he's 50 years so old. So out man. of shape. Shout out, Enos. Ted Power was a great pitcher. Great name. Tony Fernand, Tony Fernandez was a real he player. Was good. He, was good, he doesn't man. look like JYD. He doesn't look like Junkyard Dog. Actually, how about this? I mean, this is the greatest <laughs> back to JYD compare. thump, baby. Here we go. You at home, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? There's a little resemblance there. It's a good call. Maybe we've just unearthed his alter ego. The JYD, yes. one of the great wrestlers of all time. Moonlighting his Junkyard Dog. Bob, Bob Boone. Boone. The, uh, the, the, the dad, dad of the of Yankees. The uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, Still I got a Diamond does. King. Diamond King alert. Diamond King alert, Chili Davis. Yes, kids, people used to be named Chili. One of the best names still. Still. We need more baseball players. Bill Lasky. I can't believe I didn't get a rated rookie. Maybe we got, Ron got a couple Romanet. more. Got a couple more. Willie Upshaw, Ooh. Gary Redis. You, did, you didn't do that good. Enough. This is a <laughs> pack. I don't know if you guys beep <laughs> around here. This is an atrocious effort. Let's see. Let's I'm see devastated. If I can have the good news is there's not a single card in here. I mean, even McGuire and Bonds is probably less valuable than my Diamond King. I'll eat this. I'm not scared. Even though this is 32 years old, 31 years old. You can hear that crack in your mouth. Is that good? No, that was not good. It's good because everybody watching now is like, holy crap, why do you do that? <laughs> it tastes literally like cardboard. Randy Johnson ate the gum. So you're, you're, in, you're in that class with him. Yeah, oh, Randy here we go. Johnson. I already got you right there. You're, we're done. George Wright. Better player, not a more valuable card than <laughs> Chili Davis Diamond King. Goose Gossage. Better player than anybody I got, still not more valuable. Daryl Strawberry. All time Strawberry. This is like, this is, a, this is such a <laughs> You should have picked, picked this pack. No, man. dude, this was such a great set. should have picked this pack. It's such a sweet strawberry card. This used to be like, you used to be able to trade this for like a kid's lunch for a month. <laughs> like, that's literally how hot 87 Tops was. All right, Bob Walk isn't, isn't great, but no. tell me. Bob Walk does not look Leaping like Leaping Lanny Poffo. I was gonna say he looks like he should be killing zombies on The Walking Dead. Look at this. If you were hardcore wrestling and you know who Leaping Lanny, you guys can edit. Put up Leaping Lanny Poffo's face right here. I'm telling you, dead ringer for Leaping Lanny Poffo. Fun fact, Leaping Lanny Poffo is Randy oh, yeah. Savage's brother. Randy Savage's actual name is yeah. Randy Poffo. Who played minor league baseball for, for, the Cubs. for, for like a year. I also got Cal Ripken, so I, I'm, yeah. Here's what's amazing. Your players are dramatically better than mine. Yeah, they're it's not just worth a, anything. No, they're, they're they made 94,000 of these cards. Urbano Lugo with a great. I got a story guy. for you about Urbano yeah. Lugo. Me and Brandon Warnicky, my best friend, who I just was talking to because he still runs Wine Library, had this brain, amazing idea. 
that at a card show in 1993 at the Franklin Fire Station that we were gonna create a lottery game. This is real what I'm telling you, my friends. We took 87 Tops Commons, cut out the name, put them in a sleeve, the nine sleeve binder, Mm -hmm. and we had a game. The game was if you could answer seven people, six people right, you would get this $3 card. If you could get seven people right, you get this card. Eight, this card, and nine, a Gary Sheffield upper deck rookie when he was steaming hot, if you remember that card. So we think we're geniuses. First guy comes, spends $2 to play the game, doesn't get anything, we're like, oh my God, we have figured it out. All of a sudden, this kid comes up, who's younger than us, and this is 87 when we were like young, and I cannot believe you pulled out this card because the kid comes up and he gets the first one right and it's easy, What top left down is kind of how he wanted to sucker your, you in. Like He's like, duh, 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 duh. He, he hits six, I'm like, oh man, he's, we're gonna have to pay him out. And then he goes, Orbano Lugo. And we lost our mind. I've only heard about Orbano Lugo twice in my life. That weekend in Franklin in 1993 and right now. Hold on, I have to, I'm sorry, Like you keep doing the show. I gotta text Brandon. Brandon. Who is this? Urbano Lugo. <laughs> Where did you get that? I'm doing a baseball card show. I'll talk Yo, to you later. How's it going? We, oh, say hello. Hi. Brandon, we God, literally just opened a pack of 87 tops. And you got that? And f- Urbano Lugo came out. Uh, how many Sheffield rookies did you give up that day? I don't know how many I had. <laughs> it's the wor- Basically, the story ends like this, guys. We got murdered. Um, we got Terry Mulholland, Julio Cruz. Uh, Steve Ontiveros, Kurt Stillwell. So I had some good you ones. You did better. I, I had better you did cards. better. You had better players. Better players, better players. Where's yours? What'd you do with them? I we gotta make a trade. Got it. Oh, we have to make a trade. Yeah, awesome, yeah, okay. Trade. Okay. Uh, I want Chili Davis, man, just because it's the Diamond King. Okay. And I will give you uh, I want Strawberry, Ripken, and Brett. Come on, man. For Chili Davis? If you put up the prices here, I'm still giving you a good deal because I'm hosting in my room and I'm trying to be nice. Give me uh, I, I want. I'll throw in Bill Lasky. No, I don't want Bill Lasky. I want. Uh, I want the guy. I want Daryl Boston. Okay, you I want got Daryl Boston in his glasses. You got it. Done. You want to? You want to? Yes, all three dude. Of these guys? All right, dude, you that. know you're getting a good deal here. I feel mad because they're gonna put up here 19 cents to 31 cents, which well, means you've won. And I also like, have like way more packs of these at home. So respect. Thank you, Gary. That was great. Thank man. you so much. Appreciate Can we talk it. about more baseball cards?